Hey guys, it's Wednesday, and I have officially declared today look like a hot, druggy mess day. Yay, druggy hot messness. I love you always, forever, near and far, close and together, everywhere. I will be with you, everything I will do for you. I love you love always, forever, forever, near and far, close and together, together everywhere. And far, and I will be with you, everything and I will everything. do for you. Do, 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 do. Jesse, is hot druggy mess in this day just an excuse so you cannot try to look good on your video? Mm, mm, maybe. Uh, no, it's an official holiday. It's real. I declared it. It's real. So this week is awesome because at the beginning of the week, um, Heather didn't want to climb up on her bunk bed, so we pulled out the futon so that she could sleep on that, and it's been pulled out in bed form for like a week now, and, and you can do your homework on it. And it's awesome because you get all these pillows and then you cuddle up on it and do your homework simultaneously. Or you get a lot of people over and put a DVD in your laptop and I'll cuddle up on the futon and watch a DVD. And it's great. Ellen and Michelle, it was so good seeing your videos and it's nice to see your faces and hear what you guys have been up to. And I enjoyed it. Mary Kate, I hope that you're feeling better. Uh, I was sad to not have a video from you, but I definitely understood why you didn't make one. And I miss you, and I hope that you're feeling much, much better. So I am in love with the Midsummer Night's Dream. I am having so much fun doing it. Um, I just came back from my costume fitting. So excited. We just started blocking recently, and I think it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. But, and I have the most badass necklace ever, so that's awesome. First RJ event was this um, last weekend. Uh, we had a breakfast and then a mixer in the evening, and it was really popular and a lot of people came, and I was really excited because I was actually expecting for not a lot of people to come because it was our first RHA event of the semester, and I don't know how it is at like Ole Miss, but at UD, not a lot of people come to the first uh, RHA event of the year, so I was very pleased that people actually showed up to that. Last week, we got um, official like charter status for College Democrats, and yesterday I had to go and meet with student government and present the College Democrats as a club and get it yay or nayed, and they approved it, so we are now on a club and we can start having meetings and stuff, and as far as I know, we're the first time UD has ever had a College Democrats club, so that's cool, something new, starting something brand new, which is exciting. This week is not awesome for me. Um, I talked to Mary-Kate and Alan about this yesterday, and I wrote a note about it on Facebook because I was feeling really, really whiny and upset, so you probably I already know about this, but um, as I talked about a little bit last year, I think, uh, my school has a campus in Rome, and the big thing is that if you're going to go abroad, you go to Rome, and basically, like, everybody does it, and you go sophomore year, and so I was supposed to go in the spring, and basically this week, I sort of became official that I just can't afford to go this semester, or next semester when I was supposed to be gone. So I am not going to Rome. Um, I am probably going junior year. I'm reapplying for the junior year, and it should be able to all work out then because I'm going to work over the summer, you know, so that'll be good. And so I should be able to go junior year, so that's nice because I'll still be going to Rome, but all my friends are going to Rome this spring, and my roommate is going, big thing. Not only is she my roommate, but she's my best friend um, here. And so she's leaving, and I'm going to have to find a new roommate. And Matthew's leaving, and all my other friends are leaving. And that's not true, not all my friends. It's like half my friends already transferred and didn't come back for sophomore year, and now the other half are all going to Rome. And it's like, and it just kind of sucks right now, because I know it'll be okay, and obviously I'm not just going to have four only friends at the entire school, and I have friends who are juniors who are not going. So, you know, it's not like all my friends are going. That's an exaggeration. But... A lot of my friends and a lot of people who I'm very close and dear to are going, and so to not be going with them and having them all planning it right now sucks. But, oh well. Wow. Um, classes are going pretty well. Our lit class this semester are coming up pretty soon. I have to write a short story, and I'm really worried about that because I'm not a good writer, and I don't even know what it's going to be about. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm in this class called Directing Lab, which is when the seniors who are going to be directing their plays for their senior projects um, direct scenes to practice and you get like one credit for being an actor in one of those scenes and so we performed our first scene last Wednesday and it was so fun it's from a play called in Arabia we'd all be kings and basically we all played like ghetto Latino people and it was really funny because it was me and three boys 
two of which were blonde and one of which was red hair and freckles and if you know me you know like how white I am and um so it was pretty hilarious because it was like the four of us all trying to be like ghetto and stuff and it was really fun and it was a good scene speaking of hot druggy mess day I've talked about this before I think but so last semester Alyssa said that when she first met me she thought that I was on drugs because I seemed like the kind of person who was on drugs and Matt said that when he met me he thought I was on drugs not a huge deal you know this semester a lot more people have told me that they thought I was on drugs or that I looked like not that they thought I was on drugs but that I looked like it was drugs to me someone who looks like they're on drugs is like someone who weighs like 90 pounds and doesn't have any color and sits in a corner and looks dead and I hope I don't look dead I don't know if they're saying that I look like I'm on drugs or if I look like the kind of person that would be on drugs but either way, I'm not sure this is a good thing. I miss you guys very much, and I think that you should all text me and stuff so I can know what you're doing with your lives. I miss you, and I'll see you later, and have a good day.